Hello everyone. Today is the last phase of election and after 6 pm we can expect all the media and trust group everyone individually expects to release their own exit poll results. So in this video let's see what the exit poll results in 2019 and how market reacted on the following trading day. In this way we can try to interpret the market for the present day scenario. I mean even in 2019 the final 7th phase of election was on 19th May which was Saturday. So the present day is roughly the same scenario but only difference is in 2019 the poll result declared on the following Thursday whereas now the poll result will be declared on coming Tuesday. At that time because of Thursday market traded based on exit poll results for three trading sessions that this time will be contained in one single day. So please keep that in mind for the option trader it's very important 2019 three days price action is going to happen in one single day. Now coming to the 2019 exit poll, if required please pause and have a look, only one news agency exit poll predicted the hung parliament whereas most of the others predicted somewhere between 300 to 350 seats for NDA as a whole. It means 30 to 60 70 seats from the majority and the actual result came as 353 seats for NDA and around 91 seats for UPA which only two news channels predicted closer to those one India Today and the other one News24. All others remaining 85% of the exit poll under predicted the outcome. Again repeating please remember 85% news agencies in 2019 under predicted the election outcome. I mean I saw some other YouTubers claim like the news media will favor the ruling party so they might over predict the election outcome kind of. Please don't make any decision based on those since there is no evidence for that. I mean opinion poll will be different that might influence people but exit poll is after the polling. So media don't have to favor any politicians rather there is a possibility they might favor the speculators. Please be clear here I'm not saying exit poll will under predict what I'm saying is historically they under predicted and there is no evidence that this time they will over predict. So with that around at that time 2019 average 330 plus seats for NDA exit poll prediction. Let's look at the Nifty's price action for the next 3 days. If required please pause and have a look. Like yesterday Friday even on 2019 May 17 Nifty closed on the positive note but unlike yesterday it was more positive like 1.3% increase. Then on the following Monday Nifty opened near 250 points gap up which is roughly 2.2% and at the end of the day it increased further to 3.7 percent then closed near the day's high. So for the present day that 2.2 percent gap up which is roughly equal to 490 points gap up opening on Monday and the 3.7 percent positive close on today's money is equal to 830 points. Then after Monday Tuesday May 21st Nifty closed 1 percent negative and on Wednesday before the result day Nifty traded flat and closed flat. Overall between exit poll and the election result day Nifty opened 2 percent gap up and ended 2.9 percent addition. One more thing in those 3 days overall India VIX haven't dropped I mean on Monday it dropped to 23 but end of Wednesday it back increased to 28 which it closed on May 17, 2019. So coming Monday those 3 days price action expects to happen in one single day and I expect it will be one side direction move it can be upside or downside. Once the exit poll results announced tonight then I will make another video to decode it. Moving on now I want to break down or clear another half baked myth like in the past 6 months on the expectation of ruling party continuing the government Nifty increased near 20% and the same was happened in 2019 so only after election results and the day of election results in 2019 Nifty didn't increase much kind of. This is purely half baked information I mean part of that is maybe true not entirely. 
So let's break it down. On October 2018, at that quarter, Nifty reached the lowest point 10,030 for the earnings 415 rupees. So the P ratio was 24. Then on May 23, 2019, on the election results day, roughly after six months, Nifty earnings dropped to 401 rupees. So from 415 on October 2018, Nifty performance dropped to 401 rupees. However, because of election positive outcome expectation, at that time Nifty rallied to 11,650, which was roughly 16.5% increase. I mean, for the same period, earnings dropped 3.5%, but still P ratio increased from 24 to 29, which made the Nifty very, very costly. See, there was a deterioration in fundamentals and hence all those 16.5% increase was purely based on the expectation of positive election outcome. So at that time after the election results, Nifty didn't increase further due to no fundamentals and no upside potential. Now let's come to the present day scenario. In October 2023, Nifty reached the lowest point 18,850 for the earnings of 914 rupees which was roughly 20.6 P ratio. That 18,850 Nifty in 6-7 months in May 2024 increased to 22,530 which was roughly 19% increase and it's similar increase compared to 2019. But the difference was earnings. See, 915 rupees in October earnings now increased to 1052 rupees, which was 15% earnings increase. So, unlike 2019, which was purely due to election rally, in 2024, the earnings and Nifty index increased because of fundamental improvements. I mean, as I said, in 2019 period, the P ratio of Nifty increased from 24 to 29. Whereas today, the P ratio of Nifty from 20.6 in October in May now, it only increased to 21.4, hardly not even one P ratio increase. So at present, I don't think Nifty factored any election outcome at all. Again, here also, I'm not saying Nifty is going to reach 25,000 mark when the result comes favorable means. I'm not saying that there are other factors also influence the price action like US market, global momentum, mainly individual company fundamentals, etc. But what I'm saying is so far election results was not factored in the Nifty's price action. So possibly if the result comes in favor of ruling government means then there is a higher probability we might have election results rally which we didn't have in 2019. So please be cautious. Anyway, that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video. So it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment decision based on this as I'm not a SEBI registered advisor. I'm doing this for me and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.